Thank you. Um, I um, note that many members of um, my community are very concerned about the health impacts of pesticides used in everyday life. We simply just we don't know enough about many of the pesticides that are being used um, every day and the impacts that they have on people and our communities. During um, the debate recently on the APMVA's uh, review and, in fact, the changes to the legislation, the Greens did try to change the requirements for um, the authority report and, and made the point that it's important that we look at the health aspects of pesticides, the impact of pesticides, and, and we wanted to see uh, the authority also to report to the health minister so that we can be responsive to the health impacts of pesticides. Unfortunately, as we know, that wasn't taken up, but we will continue to pursue this issue because we think it is a very important issue. At present, there is no nationally coordinated biomonitoring program or public health surveillance of, Australians, of Australia's population. We believe we need to be looking into this um, to look at what impacts pesticides are having and whether they are turning up in our human systems. The community does have an expectation that public health is adequately, adequately, adequately protected from pesticide exposure. However, as we saw in the ABC's um, recent uh, Four Corners um, expose of a chemical time bomb, it showed that the Australian, Australian government have not implemented any biomonitoring programs and therefore does not hold data to be able to determine Australian, the Australian public's exposure to pesticides or the impact they are in fact having on human health. A lack of evidence is in fact not evidence of the fact that there is no harm from pesticides to our community. There is strong information to suggest that incidences of non-compliance at a state level are underreported and few, if any, penalty, penalties are being applied um, to non-compliance incidences. This is in terms of um, uh, non-compliance in terms of pesticide use. This results in, we believe, an incomplete picture of what is actually happening at the risk man management level in the environment and in public health. In Western Australia, and in other parts of Australia, we know that there are daily concerns of organic farmers and uh, legal challenges that occurred because of um, exposure to organic farm, uh, by um, to organ to farmers um, that are um, adjoining organic farms that are enjoying, adjoining um, properties that are using pesticides, and because of that um, drift, we are concerned that Australia is lagging behind international best practice in some of the uses of um, pesticides, and this is again one of the issues that we raised during the debate on the changes to the um, APVMA um, when we debated that um, earlier in the year. Um, there is ongoing concern about some of the impacts of um, pesticides and particular con components of pesticides and what, what impact they're having in terms of uh, carcinogens, um, endocrinine, um, disruptors and in terms of neurotoxins. Children in particular were extremely concerned about and there's still a lack of understanding um, we uh, deeply concerned there's still a lack of understanding in terms of what risk management actually means and I heard in fact in the debate during estimates some confusion around even senators about why decisions are made um, and what risk management actually means so we need we do need to be looking into that in more detail. We believe many parents in, are also unaware of the risk um, that being exposed to certain uh, pesticides um, can have to, their ch have to their children and in their children's development. And in fact, there's, there's sometimes in a, inadequate signage where pesticides are being used and, and children may be in fact inadvertently exposed. Earlier this week, I tabled a petition um, on this issue that had 168 uh, signatures from people in my home community of Western Australia. Um, this uh, warns that petitioners and the community are concerned that this issue isn't being um, taken up seriously enough by governments and there's a failure to act in terms of the public interest and a failure to exercise a duty of care in the prevention of what are in fact foreseeable harms. I urge the government to think about this and to start looking more seriously into the issues of um, impacts on public health and how we can assess those impacts. Thank you, Senator.